here at Sunday Fun, we've come by North Wing, which is, well, two things. It's a maker of wings that a lot of people use, but it's also a maker of trikes. I'm Dan Johnson, talking to Cameron Blevins, who I've known in the business for, well, more years than either one of us probably care to admit anymore. But we go back a little ways. And What are we sitting here, Cameron? Uh, what, what, are you, what aircraft are you occupying now from your fleet? This is a Scout XC-912, and it's a two-place train aircraft or a light sport. Uh, special or light sport experimental. Also, we sell this in a kit for you amateur. You sell build. it in a kit. Yeah, okay. for amateur build experimental. All right. Yeah. Which means then that somebody could do all their own maintenance on it, like they couldn't do with SLSA <coughs> unless they went and got the training for it, which That's you can right. do. Yeah. Uh, but if somebody says, "Oh no, I just want to, I just want a deluxe rig, and I'm not going to do anything on it," well, go SLSA. Right. And if you want to do some of the work yourself, then experimental or ELSA. E ELSA. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, you've been making this particular rigged for some time, have you not? The Scout? Been out a while? Yeah. yeah. And is, is this one different than the ones we've looked at before? We've done some new upgrades for, over the last two years. We've got a triple tree front fork, um, motocross style front fork. And what inspired. does that do for you? What does that kind of a fork do for you? <clears throat> uh, it allows you to, um, it, it's just more stability tracking at high speed. Ah, okay. So if you come in and, and, and a crosswind at, at high speed, it's, it's going to center for you better and just to keep the trike lined up down the runway. And, and this also has a um, very high-end steering dampener on it, a Scott's steering dampener, okay, and, um, which and is a motocross steering dampener. Okay, um, to, again, keep it from, from wobbling too much right. in case it hits rocks or potholes or whatever in the exactly. in the landing surface. Because yeah. you got some pretty beefy looking, you know, yeah, they're all nicely fared in here, but they still look like some pretty substantial tires on this guy. Yeah, these are um, a little larger tire than we've used in the past. Uh, 16 and a half inch uh, GA aircraft tires. Right. When this, these tires are going to last you about four times as long as any of those other is tires. Is that right? Wow. So okay. This is, this is this is the deluxe model of your of your fleet. Is, yes, would that it be is. correct? Yeah. Okay. 912 engine, and you've got some new kind of like engine fairings on the top here. Kind of kind of dress it up, sort of like <laughs> like a uh, you know like a motorcycle with all the little yeah, fairings the, on the it. The engine hood, cowling. The engine uh, hood, you call it. Okay. And that also protects all the the rubbers. And, ah, and, does it? Okay. Yeah, from from the ultraviolet rays. Yeah, which sure. Is, I mean, right now that's all sitting in the sunshine, and yep. so it would be sun yep. doing its magic, or it's not magic, I guess. That's right. Now, another feature about this particular one compared to uh, your single place, which has a more common single mast that goes up. What's the point of this split mast? Is, is that what you call it, by the way? or A dual mast. Dual mast, okay. We so what's out, the advantage of that? Well, it's something we came out with back in you know, year 2000 to Long time ago, address yeah. the problem of the uh, instructor saying, I can't stand that center tube hitting me in the head. Um, when I'm training. And it's, the buzz that it'll give you too, yeah, I recall. Exactly. You touch vibration. your helmet to that, whoa, it'll get your attention right now. This year, no You're problem at all. Wide open there and the many, many instructors just really value that a lot. So, now speaking of instructors, that's what this component here is for, is that right? Yeah, that's your uh, So you don't, if you're, seat in, if you're sitting in this seat, you don't use this? No. Well, I guess you could, but Normally, you would have your hands on the, Just on the, on the control, control bar, bar base or, too. or the uh, comfort grips. Comfort grips, okay. Yeah, yeah I like those. Those kind of nice, like like you might find on a on a, a ten speed or fifteen or twenty speed bicycle. Huh? That's right. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. How about the how about the wing erection here? You know, getting that. How do you get that wing up there? Well, this mast pivots down, pivots from this point right here. It does. Oh, I see. Up high like this. Because so I was going to say, it looks like it's off. got body in the way, but so it doesn't do it from down low here where they no. used to do go. This pivots from right here? That's right. Okay. And this is a spring assist. Ah, okay. So as you That's bring it down, it, it loads. Okay, so, so it's going to do some of the work for up, you. It's going to give you, uh, take a lot of weight off your hands, lifting it back up into position. Okay. And so uh, a lot of trend now is people want to you know, travel with their trikes. And so you can lower the wing down real easy, fold it back, roll it into a trailer and down the road you go. And with our strutted wings, it makes the fold back very easy. Uh, just like some ah, of the airplanes okay. that have fold back wings. Ah, okay, yeah, so you gotta pull some ribs and do a few things like that. But yeah. uh, other than that, you can sort of but leave it all together. Typically, uh, partially together. if anyway. you have an exposed crossbar wing, it could be as little as 10 minutes to get in the trailer. Oh, really? With a double surface, you're probably gonna add another five or 10 minutes to that. And Cause you uh, got a few more ribs to pull out. Yeah. The and, lower and surface little, ribs. A little more difficult to fold up to sail because it's double surface. But, yeah, uh, more cloth. To but still 20 minutes to get on the road. That's not bad, actually. After you right. quit flying, that's not bad. Right, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Um, 
I also noticed if I was sitting in the rear seat, I would have my foot on these handy little pegs down here, but I noticed when you were demonstrating, those move. So yep. the instructor can actually steer. If he's sitting back here or she's sitting back here and you got a student that's, I don't know, not handling it right or doesn't know how to handle it, the instructor can fly the whole aircraft from the back. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, there's um, some instructors that they they give the front seat to the to a passenger right off the get-go and just sit in the back seat for the first time. Because they can fly. I've never done there. that. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'd do uh, that either. I but, know, uh, but uh, there are some that uh, they're confident enough to fly in the back using the dual steering and throttle and handlebars. Yeah, and I was going to ask you, trikes typically use the right front uh, pedal with a uh, with an arm on it that acts as a throttle and the left side is the brake. Is that true on this one as well? That's true on this okay. one. Okay, but in the back doesn't have that. It has a throttle on the right foot. But it's a Oh, it does. On yep. the for the foot as well. Yep. Okay. Yeah, does right it also have a hand throttle? A hand throttle is right here. Okay, but is it But not in the back seat. Okay. So, if the instructor is using the throttle, he's got to do it with his foot or That's she's right. got to do it with her foot. Yeah, if you're if you're needing to use the throttle, you're probably going to be needing to use the handlebar too. Ah, yeah, okay. If you're landing and you need to add throttle because sure, something's sure, going sure. wrong, you, you want to have both hands on the instructor bars. Yep. And there's some trikes out there that all they have is a hand throttle uh, for the back seat. And that's the, probably the wrong time you want to take your hand off the wing. Uh, yes, right. <laughs> I think that so. sounds about right. So, okay. But, uh, uh, a little bit about <clears throat> this trike here. The, these back landing gears are designed by Grove Aircraft, which is a known name in the oh, general yeah. aviation aircraft world. Uh, we use Matco aircraft brakes. There's a lot of GA aircraft parts on, on this aircraft, so it's a far. These have come a far cry from when they were ultralights back in the 90s. I mean, these are, these are real aircraft. Yeah, and you know, I know people look at this and kind of go, "No, it's not. It has to be, have you know some other kind of wings and some other kind of controls." Well, that's just not true. They just aren't paying attention to the developments that you've done over what almost 20 years now. Then yeah, of 20, this particular model. Yeah, of yeah. This model. Yeah. All right. When did, when did Northwing first start, by the way? Let's go way back in time here. When did you begin <laughs> the business? For the trike wing business, it was 1996. Wow. <clears throat> okay. So uh, you're sitting at 22 we went years back of that. When we were then. hang gliding in Seattle. Right. I had a Northwing company for about five years in the 80s. In the 80s. So. Yeah, where we manufactured some hang gliders. Right. So you so. go back almost 40 years in this business, <laughs> yeah. Cameron. A long that's time. a lot of experience. And that's one reason why so many people buy wings from you, because you've got it down. Yeah, I'd I've like got, to think I've had so. the pleasure to fly a number of your wings, and they are some of the nicest handling trike wings I've flown. So Thank you. Yep. Yeah, one thing that a lot of people ask us is, why you just got to really hold on to this bar when you're flying? And, and it's like, no, you can let go of the bar. If it's smooth air, it'll fly itself. It, the wing is designed to fly on its own. If you get altered by... You mean without a tail? Yeah, without a tail. How does that Imagine even that. work? If you get altered by turbulence or... Um, you know, th then yeah, you, you're there to control it. But otherwise, the wing flies itself. We always used to say in the hang glider game that, uh, you know, usually the pilot's the one causing the problem. When in doubt, let go. Yeah. Which sounds like, whoa, no, why would you do that? Because the wing wants to fly pretty much straight and level anyway. It's you that's making it worse outside of gusting conditions or something right. like that, of course. And we used to, and they'll, as they learn to fly trikes, they'll come to the terms of pilot induced oscillation right and that's usually what that means that you are chasing the wing or you're chasing something right. that you just that behind the, wing, the eight ball on you're it behind somehow. the eight ball yeah. okay all right cameron so suppose i've just said you know what i'm convinced this thing's beautiful i've been wanting to fly trikes what would you tell them about the delivery period uh, i guess <coughs> since it can have it as a kit or an slsa mm -hmm. typically what would you tell people about delivery availability Typically, you're you're going to be a couple months. A couple yeah. months. That's yeah. it. Yeah, you get eight, you know eight, you know eight to twelve weeks. Okay. So so not a very long wait at all. Well, once you put your deposit down on yeah, an aircraft, yeah, no, the, the clock becomes, runs really fast, <laughs> then, doesn't it? Yes, it's, right. a, it's a lifetime. <laughs> well, that's that's the burden you carry as the builder of these aircraft. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. All right, Cameron. Well, that's great. Uh, tell us how we uh, people surely have uh, got some questions that I forgot to a ask you. Where do we send them on the web to find you? It's uh, northwing.com. Northwing.com? Pr pretty easy on that one. Hey, visit northwing.com. You'll find out more about that. You can find out about all of Cameron's products over the years and many other in the affordable aircraft range at bydanjohnson.com.